morning, guys. Dave Santorelli from the Santorelli Trading Exchange here. Just wanted to do a, a quick pre-market cap here, what we're watching for. Uh, last night, you guys know, I did a live video, and I was talking about Home Depot lows uh, ahead of um, Hurricane Michael. Hurricane Michael has since turned into a Category 4 hurricane. It's the worst-case scenario for the Florida Panhandle area. Um, that's going to be striking the coast of Florida there up there uh, by, um, by Tallahassee. Let's see here. Up in Panama City. It's a Category 4, 140 miles an hour, and they said it could even strengthen in the next few hours. It's expecting to hit landfall between 12 and 3 p.m., uh, so we're going to be looking at that. Uh, we might even have some good day trading strategies with some call options on Home Depot. So we'll take a look at that. It's a Category 4 hurricane right now, 140 miles an hour wind. Like I said, it's going to strengthen, uh, you know, the next few hours they're saying. So it could get up to 150, 160 miles an hour. Like I said, worst case scenario for the uh, Panama City panhandle area of Florida. So we can make some quick money trading some HD calls, some Lowe's calls. Uh, you know, some of those uh, home improvements that are really going to be sought after after this storm here, this hurricane. So we'll take a look at that. Also, last night I went over Costco, Walmart as a holiday cyclical trend idea. Uh, we see Costco is up nice in the pre-market hours. That was the hook pattern that we took advantage of. Okay, let's take a look at that. Uh, Costco. Look at that hook pattern forming on Costco here. So what we need now... Uh, if we just get a break above 225.50 on Costco, if we get a break above that, that's our resistance area for this trend here for the hook. So if it if it breaks that 225.50 area, then it's going to take off and it's going to reach our target of 229. So this is an important part here. I love this chart setup. You're seeing if you're looking at Costco, we found the base. The base was right at 220 a share. We sent that out on Monday or, or, or last I don't I'm I'm uh, today's Wednesday. Okay. So I think we sent that out on Monday. Uh, we said it just finally formed the base of the hook. And uh, and we just got into this yesterday. So it's a great chart setup. One of our top three chart patterns we trade at the Santorelli Exchange. You remember we focused on hook patterns, breakout momentum and range bound channel bound trades. And this is a classic hook pattern here. And you see we're in it, we're gonna be making some large profits on this. Uh, like I said, we got HD calls yesterday. It's already up 1% in pre-market. That's great, That it could reach 100% return today alone, uh, which I am expecting it to do, at least close to it. I'm expecting between a 60 and a 100% return uh, today. Uh, but I did get the October 19th Expo. So if you got this week's Expo as a day trade, then you would have made 100% uh, returns or more. But I wanted to be a little bit safer, get the October 19th. So my gains will probably be, be between 50 and 70%. If it rockets 2% today, I'll have 100% return. But uh, if anyone got the weeklies, those should have 100% return with the stock popping 1% uh, now. Bank of America, we got into Bank of America. That's up today. We'll see how it goes. Markets are fluctuating here. So Bank of America is in the green. Obviously, the uh, medical marijuana stocks are, are heavily in the green today with NBEV up 12%, uh, Tilray up to over 3%. Tesla, again, is up 0.73% uh, this morning. Um, AMD is up uh, a little bit today. Uh, here's the other one, Brazilian stocks, you know. ERJ, like I told you guys, uh, Brazil's going through a bad economy, bad times, uh, depression, recession. Um, if if Haddad wins, it's going to be very bad for Brazil. Um, you know, he's corrupted. He's he's had ties with Lula, who's the ex-president, who's in uh, jail right now. So you don't want Haddad to win. But here's the thing. Um, ERJ, that's Embraer. Do you know how here in America we have Boeing, we have, uh, you know, uh, the Airbus, you know, well, Brazil has Embraer, and that's a popular jet company here in the United States, too. A lot of the connecting flights I take are Embraer's. So, um, you know, if you look at this chart pad on, pattern on ERJ, Embraer, you'll see that there's a nice pattern here. It's just starting to take out. This is a breakout momentum stock. So ERJ, you could look into that. You can look at the chart. 
If we look at the chart here for ERJ, you can see, let's go back to, we'll go all the way back to 2015 on the chart here. Hey, Greg, how are you, buddy? Nice to see you. Uh, guys, we're going to go uh, look at ERJ. And if you look here, it has base support, base bottom at around $18 to $17.50 a share. You know, $17.50 to $18, that's been base support for three or four years. So if you're looking at ERJ, you can see that we just broke the SMAs. And at TSC, the Santa Rally Trading Exchange, what we're doing, looking for entries on a breakout momentum uh, type of chart pattern, we're looking for a cross above the 10, 20, uh, 50 day SMA. And you can see she just crossed above the 20 and 50 day SMA just about a week ago. Uh, and, and the chart pattern looks right here. I have um, the next resistance between $22.50 and $25 a share. And that's going to be within the next three to six months, in my opinion. So that's a great chart setup. Um, like I said, Bank of America is up. HD is still climbing. It's now up 1.2%, guys. That, that's incredible. That's great. And Bev's now up 15%. Bank of America is still climbing. Um, another one you guys want to look at for the holidays, UA, Under Armour. Um, it's a nice little pattern there. It has base support around 17, I think it was. Uh, let's see, UA. Yeah, there's some nice support at $17.50 a share. Uh, it's got a nice pattern. If you guys go in the trade room at Santorelli Exchange, um, I'm going to share that one in there. You're going to see a nice range-bound channel pattern, and uh, it's just coming off the base support at $17.50. So that's one we're going to check out. Uh, right now, the futures, Dow's down around 65, S&P down 9, and, uh, and the NASDAQ's down around 23. Alrighty, guys, so if you guys have any questions quick, I'd be happy to uh, take some questions and answers before the start of the bell here. George, no problem. I love educating. This is actually one of the reasons why uh, I'm in the trade room now every day uh, from usually 8.30 to... You know, 5 p.m. I'm there daily because uh, things weren't getting done previously. They're getting done now the way I want them to be done. And uh, the education is in detail, detail, detail. So now that I'm in the trade room at TSC, uh, things are going great. So I love educating. I love teaching. So if you guys are engaged in these types of videos, I'm going to keep making them. That's one thing I promise you guys. What happened with JNJ? Let's take a look at JNJ. JNJ is still in the consolidation phase. It didn't drop. You see, it's not dropping. It's up today. What we're looking for with JNJ, specifically for a big breakout here, is a close above 140. We get that close above 140, then it's going to be in that next phase. It's already Wednesday. You know, we have the 140 strike calls, so it's pushing it close. This is the one reason why I always say that <clears throat> give, yourself a, give yourself enough time to let the stock go in your favor. You know, we got this trade last week on JNJ. &J. You know, it's down about 50% right now, I'd say. And, uh, you know, we're waiting for that break. Once we get that break, there's no doubt it's going to have uh, some substantial profits. But as you can see here and in the trade room and the videos from yesterday, the JNJ &J chart, you're seeing that we have the climb, we have the wave higher, and then we have the consolidation phase. We have the arrow, the green arrow here, the climb higher, and then this yellow channel, this is the consolidation profit taking phase. And then once that ends, and the nice thing, the beauty about this, when it ends is when it breaks that channel. This is why I'm saying that everything is so detailed at the Santorelli Exchange. We're showing when the entries are, when the exits are, where the targets are. 
So our entry after the consolidation profit taking phase is once we break that channel, that yellow channel here. Once we broke that channel, you see we, uh, we climbed significantly, we had that wave higher, we had that climb, and then we had that consolidation profit taking phase. Then we had that wave higher, that climb again, then the consolidation profit taking phase. Now we're waiting for that breakout of the consolidation phase. You know, it took a little bit longer than it usually takes, but you could see uh, it usually takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it usually takes 10, 11 days on the previous phases. So let's see where we're at in this phase now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're at 10. We're ready to break this channel one way or the other, up or down. So it uh, looks like upward momentum so far. So um, maybe by the end of the week here, we'll get that break. But it's still in consolidation phase. And this is why I say um, picking the right expo dates are extremely important. You know, yes, the, the shorter term expos are cheaper uh, and they might make a larger return if you're right on the direction. <coughs> but me personally, I'd rather have that time on my side and be able to, uh, you know, not worry each day is the stock going to climb it and break out or reach my target or anything like that. So that's what we're looking for here with J and J. Uh, do you guys have any more questions? Anything you want to discuss? All right, guys. We'll see you later. Uh, it's around 9.29. I'm going to get in the trade room at the Central Exchange. If you guys want to sign up for TSC, get these charts, our alerts, our emails, our updates, our classes, our videos, everything. Live trade room. Uh, go to the thesantorellexchange.com. Uh, sign up. Use promo code BRAZIL, and we will see you in the trade room. Take care, guys. Have a great day. God bless. If you guys are in the path of the hurricane, please stay safe. If you need anything, let me know. Take care, guys. Have a great day.